of my bed. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness Annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you. Imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness. Grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. For in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I am so glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on when we do afternoon and evening prayer today and that you'll be able to join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day. Three times a day, God willing and technology allowing. If you like to submit a prayer request or if you like to find out more about our ministry, come by our website at sacredheartsjesus.org. That is sacredheartsjesus.org. When <coughs> you get to our site, you can go straight to the prayer request page or in the home page. There's a form you can fill out if you want to get more information. Also, we have a an application in Google Play. When you get to Google Play, in the search form, type in Sacred Heart of Jesus Chapel. Again, type in Sacred Heart of Jesus Chapel. That would allow you to download your app to download the application and install it in your device. And once you install it, you can submit prayer requests, you can ask for information, and you can interact with us in other ways through the app. And take a second of your time and click on the share or reshare button of your application and share this prayer with as many people as you can. By the same token, you can share the application with as many people as you can. There's a lot of people out there, brothers and sisters, who <clears throat> might not be able to get to church like they used to anymore. Uh, some of them are sick and uh, are in the hospital. Some might be um, in a nursing home or a retirement home. Uh, some of them are in prison, and they just don't have the ability to uh, connect with a congregation like they used to. Well, these prayers are perfect for them. This ministry is perfect for them because it can allow them to be connected. All it takes is for you to click on the share or reshare button of your application, and you never know who might come across the prayers and begin to uh, connect with our ministry. And um, one of the things that's difficult about not being to connect with a congregation in that manner is that um, sometimes it gets lonely. So this is a great way to help folks in that situation. Also, there's people out there who are suffering deep inside and, and they don't know where to turn or where to go. Their hearts are filled with void. Well, the sacred heart of Jesus invites them in. And once they come in and allow the sacred heart to come into their hearts, their lives will change for the better. So, go ahead. It takes one tiny second. Click on the share or reshare button of the application and share this prayer with as many people as you can. Have a good one.